Hey guys, how's it going? It's 60% cat here. Uh, today I'm showing a little bit of game development. I'm gonna work on some stuff today, I'll take you along. So, uh, I'm working on something right now. This is uh, the p very, very early prototypes. Um, wow, they're way well, far from the little controls right over there. So this game, it's a very strange game. It's it's close to like a puzzle adventure type kind of game, um, but you don't you're not you don't control a character. You just you can witness things, and uh, the other mechanics come to play. I'm not gonna really uh, tell you about all of them here, but at least I'm it's mostly focused on you know programming something simple. I'm gonna try to do some sprites with some physics bodies, and you do that in a lot of different game engines. So uh, maybe this will be useful for somebody, or you know, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting. So right now, there's also audio playing. I'm gonna bring that up now. What? So I got a lot of voice acting for this, uh, for this game. And uh, right now, none of the characters are animated or anything like that. And in fact, this scene is not going to be in the final game. This is a crew, four people in a little ship. So you can kind of zoom out, but then this eyeball thing kind of closes up on you. So, uh, let's just adjust some things and see the effects, shall we? Uh, so I got the... Oh, my code's not right there. Yeah, we'll just turn that down right there. So I'm, I'm programming it in JavaScript of... Um, I don't need to use this physics engine, honestly. Uh, I'm just going to delete something I don't even have at all right there. Uh, Box2D is a very common one. There's lots of physics engines. This one is just like really amazing. And uh, doesn't take much CPU power. It's called p2.js. Everything, everything this guy makes is brilliant. And he open source is everything. So I could just write a really, for my game, it's just basically social things that happen with these characters. They just walk to different parts. It's going to be basically like a large space station and the ship. And you can see various parts. You could just kind of like peep around the, the ship and see different interactions that are going on. And you kind of piece together what's really going on underneath. And then you find out how you can affect things. Um, but really all you can do is move around. Oh. <laughs> There goes Lily knocking out uh, Sam out the window there. Oh, he's gone in space probably. Oh, oh, oh man! I don't know what I'm gonna do out here. Yes, and originally I was gonna show these characters coming to the station, but now I realize it's more entertaining to have a, show the rapport that they gain the crew members when they first meet. So it's gonna take place in the space station. They're all gonna have different jobs. And uh, Lily, she's going to be arriving in her ship, and she's trying to find a crew. Um, so she's looking around, and a lot of the people at the space station are kind of just, like, really odd. Well, the kind of acceptance of everybody being odd. But also, uh, everybody's kind of, like, down and kind of negative and depressed and stuff. I'll be using color in a unique way. Basically, instead of them being solid like this, there's going to be moving shapes emanating from them, kind of representing how they're feeling or or what they're saying. And uh, and you'll see in the space station, a lot of people are lacking the color. They have, like, basically it getting sucked out to them through this other mechanism that's going on. You could find out later. But we'll see how that works. So these characters look pretty good, but it's going to be really hard to animate them looking like this. And I think I've gone, decided to go with a different style almost like traditional video gaming basically just really simple like kinda like this not really exactly um I don't know I've been I've been troubling with the the visual aspects of this a lot which shouldn't be that bad honestly programming this game is pretty straightforward it's not like it's very complex not like complex interactions you don't even really control anything you know in this demo right here you can move around Lily and knock people out get out of here Frankie In space. 
So right now these functions are pretty, okay, yeah, we're gonna remove that little lens effect. So, I'll try to summarize what code I have so far. Uh, JavaScript uses, I mean, JavaScript is really, it's like the web-based language. But you don't, it doesn't require a lot of low-level programming. They have a lot of innate functions that you can use that's useful. And a lot of people make their own functions that you can kind of uh, piggyback off of anyways. So I'm just going to search. I know there's a line with about clipping that I'm, that's, that's, that's literally the function that'll clip the edges. So to make the, 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 um, that vision curvy like that, <laughs> I could use better vocabulary. It's basically just these two functions. So these call CTX is just a shortcut for 2D context, re something rendering. Um, and HTML, you use the canvas, is a really useful thing to display things and render things. So we're calling something on that that can draw. I don't know exactly what it is. Use a lot of code I don't fully understand from the bottom level, but enough that I can mess with it. So we'll just stop that clipping by commenting out that line. Save it. Refresh. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, maybe an error popped up. So we'll open developer tools. And see uh, it's, something's f firing right here. What the hell? Oh, do I have to be full screen? Oh, there's there's two errors. Cannot set property inner HTML of null. Why did that suddenly happen? What? What is this? Track dot inner HTML? My mind is blown. I don't know what this is. Player.javascript. Oh, Howler. I commented it out. What? Let's see, I, oh, fuck. Oh, okay, so I just gotta undo a bunch of times. I don't know why that. Oh, did I delete player? No, I, no, I didn't. I'm really confused. Okay, let's. Take off that clip again. We won't have to worry about that. Man, I can tell you how many rabbit holes you can go when you're coding. It's, I go down a lot of them. It's a hard, tough road that you just gotta like grind through. Or experience, really. Okay, something else is set time. Why the fuck, why is this stuff all of a sudden? Let's see if we, if we bring that back. If it's still errors. Yeah, it does. So this was happening before we edited anything. I just hadn't noticed because it's still progressing, it looks like. Oh, that means probably, oh man. Oh, I was using Howler to play music, I think. Okay, set timeout is not a function. We gotta look at what that is. That's probably a pretty big clue. What? This is in Howler. Fuck. Okay, we're just gonna de delete anything that has to do with Howler. Oops. How do you comment that out? I'm just gonna delete it. Is there anything howling around here? Var sound, new howl. SRC? Oh yeah, so this is definitely... Oh, I think I was using Howl to run the audio. This is a annoying tangent. It's still running. I can have that code not be perfect. Run that error, it's fine.
But it wouldn't work when we took off the clipping, which is strange, huh? Okay, it's okay now. Okay, now it doesn't have that lens effect, so it's easier to see everything. Plus, the way it was opening and closing, I don't know, it wasn't, it needed to be open larger. Getting that math to make that curve is just a whole science of itself, which I'm lucky I got, I, I was able to do that. That was actually something I was always imagining, having the, the, uh, the eyelids, eyelid effect. And I always thought that would be really t difficult, but it, I was able to do it really quickly. So, I mean, the atmosphere of the game is really, like, these solid colors, and I don't know how to describe it. I don't know why I'm <laughs> prefaced trying to say that. Um, so this just helps me able to see things. Like, that makes a huge difference. So, it sucks to make the graphics worse, because that's what I'm about to pretty much do. But I actually want to make the real game. This is just, like, a sampling of what I could kind of do. But basically, we have to make... Uh, I started drawing out the main per, like parameters of what the space station would be like. Level design is really fun! Okay, I don't know where the fuck my layers are. Why are they not here? Layers. It says it's here. Oh shit. Oh, it was on the... I have another monitor, and it was all the way on the other monitor. What the fuck? Okay, where's the ship? Oops. We need to find a ship. It says it's on here, but I don't see it. Is this thing covering it? Oh, I'm... What? I moved it on top of the ship because I wanted to bring everything to zero zero. Okay. So this helps you like scale things. This this larger rectangle is the space the ground of the space station. It's like the main level. There's a restaurant there, a stage, and a trading post. And then this is Lily's ship. You could call this Observatu, which is the name of the game as well. And uh this is the original size, and I was going to have this square be a character size, but I think her ship has to be bigger than that. I was debating to, to have, like, personal rooms, like, bedrooms, quote-unquote, on the ship. But I think it will be necessary if I do, like, another... This is, this is hopefully just one episode, but in case it never comes to fruition, maybe those extra rooms wouldn't be useful. I, I, I don't know. And... The rooms would also be able to show more of Lily's personality. I think, uh... Probably it needs to be like three levels. So the ship, it could be the exact same shape and I'll just make it... Just bigger. Just by shrinking this. That's a character size now. I want probably another level... Of the ship. Or there could be, it could just, the floor could be so big that there's like, you know, like a hallway and then a bunch of rooms and stuff. Okay. That seems more realistic, anyways. This is like kind of cartoony before. But this space station probably shouldn't be this big, but it doesn't matter. In fact, we should just start with the ship, because I think that's a lot more doable. I think two levels with this size of the character. So, we're totally going to be sacking what that thing was, what this thing is. Now, I even have frames of, really, just one frames of different talking, just mouth open, and Lily has a bunch of emotions. And I could render that into this little demo thing, but that's not going to be the game, so I need to basically scrap. Well, I hardly need to scrap, because this is a sprite for the ship right now. So I basically just need to replace that with this. And color is going to be... I mean, it's going to have to be more detailed anyways. But we'll just start with this for now to build the, like, ground level of the engine. The engine of the game, not the ship. 
So we're saving this for web. In Illustrator, I want that transparency, and there's a black line. That's I need to get it. Black lines need to be invisible. Okay, we can just take off the entire. Oh shit! Well, actually, the ship. This is what the ship's gonna look like on the outside, anyways. Should I give it a fill? We'll see how it does without the fill and trying to put, like these things or like this type of stuff in it probably more bubbly since it's lily and this might not be the f I keep redrawing the ship I don't know what's gonna look like in the end but at least there's gonna be a round section so that's where the f main level is so that's all that matters so we'll just do the outline make sure the transparency how big to make it the fact is you're going to see it not that big when you're zoomed out outside and when you zoom in enough you're going to be inside. So basically the size of a, a decent sized monitor would probably be pretty good. I'm just going to say 1600. Oh. Yeah. Is that how tall it should be? Okay. So it's a pretty big Im It's not that big. And then when you zoom, there'll be a little bit of pixelization, but we'll not do art optimized. So that means when you zoom in, it's not blurry. Instead, it's pixelated. Which I also have to adjust something in the code to make sure that happens the same way too. But it'll also make a big difference just by doing it here. It's really weird. Let's, let's zoom in and I'll show you. So it's anti-aliasing is what you're avoiding. Anti-aliasing is it kind of puts like gray, different shades of pixels to make it look like imply there's like a roundness. So I'll put I'll put that art optimize. That's what art optimize becomes an apply. And I don't fuck. What the fuck? Why did it? I thought it would be the same location I was zoomed in at. Now it's out of control. What is happening? What is happening? 1200%. Okay, let's just zoom in. Show you. I don't know if you can tell the blurring. So it blurs here, and then if you take that off, it freaking zooms in or something. I don't know why. Oh, it goes to the corner. And then here's pixelated. Okay. <laughs> Point made. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure in the game, however however the canvas renderer is set up, it's it's not doing it. There's another thing, it's like called bicubic. It's another term for that or something. Okay, we'll save this in our program folder. And I'll just be uh Let's do OBS ship. Right there. Oh, wait. Do I already have a ship saved? Probably do because there's something in there, unless I just. Is that environment? Oh, wow. Did I really? So I, I drew, instead of having an, a pick, uh, <clears throat> an image saved to make this ship thing I just co coded it like the same thing with the the let the eyelid effect you just put two points this is probably a quadratic curve and you say so you say another point where it's gonna kind of like bend the two to make this shape I think it's the same shape behind I don't know and then these balls are also programmed they're all like individual objects and then they have a random s speed and then when they reach a certain I think, I think it's a timer they all have a timer where they go back well it seems like that would be a lot of CPU power it's a weird effect why do I make like spacey things they're not 
it's a spaceship, but it's, they're not necessarily in traditional space. It's kind of like you can go out in this quote unquote space. But we'll see how we'll see how that lore unfolds. Uh so I do need a save. So I need it let's let's put this image that we just created saved into the into the game. Now where do my saving images here? Just an old log that I'm gonna clear. You use logs at different times to kind of display variables because sometimes something will be going wrong, you don't know why. So that'll help debug it essentially. I have no idea where the images are loaded. It's actually been a while since I've worked on this. On this game. So search for images, see if there's. I think there's somewhere that where I list all the oh what so this looks like where the images were saved but that must have been an old code because that's commented out I don't think it would just automatically take every image from that folder or something I'm confounded I don't know how the images are even loading. I'll search images spelled out. There might be another file that I had. That makes the most sense right now. Yeah! There you go. Wow, holy shit. So I was looking for. So, we're saving the ship, or we're. <clears throat> When the program runs, it runs this file, this JavaScript file, and it basically just a, a an array of images referenced. So I didn't even say I just saved it in the image file. So what was it? It was obs ship. Just gonna double check, see if that was the correct obs underscore ship dot ping. All right, and I was making these variables before, but I'm, they're not being uh, very confused. I, I think I was attempting something over here. It's weird that I declared these variables, but I didn't assign them the image. There's no association, they're just sitting there by themselves. Maybe what I did... I have no idea. <laughs> oh man. So I'm not pro right here. <laughs> okay. So... What the fuck did we just do? We got the image. So let's see where... We'll look into our draw function. So games, they really rely on a, an update function. It's basically, it's what's running every 60 times a second. So you get the 60 FPS. And not always at 60 FPS, but that's the ideal. You can do, you could, of course, plug it up higher. But it usually runs everything in that function 60 times a second. And so you use that to update your physics, to update your images. So you constantly are just redrawing the entire canvas 60 times every second. But that's how you get change in animation. So I'm looking for where I was drawing the ship before. It looks like that's right here. So we'll just comment that out and see what happens. Yeah. Hold Ah Lily! Where's your little bow? It disappeared. Oh, it's back now. Great. Great, they're off the ship. Fantastic. And I can use them for now with 
who they are, even though the beginnings of the game don't include all of them together like this. That's that's the best ending. That you had to get them all together. We'll witness this rare event. All right. So we killed the old ship. Now let's bring in the new ship, huh? I know there's an order that you have to. I think the first things are drawn below everything else. But that one makes sense. What I just where did I just delete that old one? Oh yeah, it's before these other images, but it's after the space stuff. So that's right here. That's what it was drawing before. So let's draw it in the same place. We'll just uh, draw image. So contact, uh, rendering context, run the function of draw image from that object. Which image? Well, I think in this, it would be the, oh, fuck it. I had to count how many are in that, uh, how many images are in the images array. <laughs> And then figure out what the latest one is. So we'll refresh this. Or oh, this is all good. Oh man, those errors. Good thing they're not game breaking errors. Ah, damn it. So we'll look at how long images is. So we'll just say images not length during while the program is running, because you can run functions. That's an amazing part of JavaScript. And it's so easy to I get I just refresh a web page. And it runs the code again. I mean, some sometimes you have, to, you have to recompile it every time you test something. Okay, it looks like it's 11. So I'm kind of a dumbass. I don't know if it's if I do 10 or 11 right here. I think it's 10. We'll just use. I think this is the location. I'm assuming this is how the function runs. Is so when you run a function, it sometimes has parameters that you can pass to it. So this one is three. The first one is an image file, and I'm referencing an image from the ar images array, the tenth one in it. And then I believe this is the X and Y that you want to have it. So we're just going to do zero, zero, and just, that should, you should be able to see it. I don't know where it would be, but it should be the center. Oh, sweet, it's right there. It's a ship, it worked. Oh, phew, I'm not so dumb. Thank God it worked. I, can't. Oh. <laughs> I just hadn't used that in a while. I had no idea, but that would make sense that it would be that in that order. And I was kind of looking at the, the other one. Ah, resources. Let's see, it worked. <laughs> I'm literally just so surprised. When I'm a little rusty, I'm just surprised when things work right away, which is nice. Okay, I'll shut the fuck up. Now, it is too small for these characters, huh? Should I redraw their new characters? I think that's a little overboard. We're trying to build an engine here. It's not important, the visuals. But the ship does need to be bigger. Compared to them right now. You can... I'm almost positive there's a way to change the scale of the image and that's why you have the internet you can also look at the documentation of of just javascript because these are javascript innate functions like all this drawing stuff which is kind of cool actually it might be just canvas it's confusing because i think javascript can work with outside of a web page I th ah, but I don't know. I'm not the expert here. I'm for the amateurs right now. I'll teach you some bad habits. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, don't look at my history, please. Let's see. So we need to see if draw image has a some sort of capability of scaling so we'll do draw image of course we gotta do we'll just say javascript 
<coughs> canvas and draw image as a function and scale. So, oh, look, that came up. That was like, the fuck? So that's a common question. Stack Overflow, of course, a great resource if you ever need to look up some coding things. People, I've just submitted questions and people just answer it because you get points or whatever. So it's a great support site. It's amazing. And then usually if you have a question, somebody's already asked it so you can just search it and find it. I'm trying to scale. Okay, so it looks like in the function it would appear that the <clears throat> fourth and fifth parameter are the scale. The probably the x scale and the y scale. Proportionally. Okay, well let's just mess around with it and see what happens. Now that we, we know it's just the fourth and fifth parameter. Look how easy that was. Fantastic. Fan fucking tastic. So I believe 100 should be normal size. So let's see 200. Save it. Reload. Oh no, it's squished and weird. Wow. How the hell did that happen? Okay. What is 100, 100? Oh, it must be pixels instead of percentage. Okay. So how, how big is it? With your own math this time. Tis, 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 tis. Oh yeah, it was 1600. Five five nine. So it definitely needs to be twice at least, probably three times, right? Well, let's try three times. I like three point three better. Fifty two eighty. Now we could write our own function to do this automatically, and we may need to in the future. But for now, let's just do the math ourselves. And uh, five five nine times three is it just three? No, it's three point three. Eighteen forty four seven. Oh sh gay or great or right. A fraction of pixel might actually make everything fucked up, but missing a end parenthesis. Well, why did I delete it? What a preposterous thing to do, Schneider. Where the frack is the ship? Hey guys, let's go in space. Alright. I feel like it needs to be bigger. But actually, it just. This, it doesn't have to be perfect right now. We're just building the engine. Snarf, snarf. What I wanted to get to the point was, uh, to the point two was characters having um, text boxes of what they're saying, and this is to have the actors, the voice actors, have a reference to what what the action is they're um, recording for. It's a very functional thing. The voice actors really are what's delivering this game, and so far. The people who I've included have done fabulous. So, uh, should we keep going, guys? How long is this? 34? We'll make this episodic. So, I hope you enjoyed so far. If you want to come again, let me know. And we'll have a good time. Bye.